Welcome back to the vector section of the SQA's Higher Maths course. We're going to look at the internal division of a line today, which from the Leckie and Leckie textbook will be exercise 5c, which is on page 13 of the notes. Let's just scroll through. There we go. So there's a simple process for finding the coordinates of a point which divides a line segment in a given ratio. So we're going to basically be looking at a little bit of ratio work. I'll we'll show you a couple of different ways of doing it. So different teachers do it different ways. So I'll show you all the different ways. You guys can make your own choice with it. So the point T divides PR in the ratio 2 to 3. Find the coordinates of point T. So we've got this point here. We've got this point here. We're going to cut that. We're not going to cut it in half, but we're going to cut it in the ratio 2 to 3. Find the coordinates of T. So first way of doing it, I'm going to show you, is called stepping out. So here's point P. Here's point Q. And because it's in the ratio 2 to 3, we're going to make two steps, then three steps. So that's five steps in total. So from negative 2 to 8 is a jump of 10. We're going to split that into five steps. So 10 divided by 5 is 2, so we're basically going to increase by 2 each time. So starting at negative 2, we go 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So the x coordinate of point t will be 2. And then we're going to repeat that process for the, the y component. Or the y coordinate, I should be saying. So point P has a y coordinate of 4, point Q has a y coordinate of negative 1, so we're dropping down by 5. Again, 5 little steps, 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we're going to drop down by 1 each time. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1. And then same again for the z component, we're increasing by 20, divide that by the 5 steps, so we'll be increasing by 4 on each step. So 3, 7, 11, 15, 19. So point T will be at 227. And that's it. Well done. That is, generally speaking, three marks in a higher maths exam for doing that. Oh, oh Alexa's just started speaking there. Just ignore her. Right. Uh, second way of doing it. Again, you guys just pick whichever way you want to do it. So we've got vector OT. So we want to get from the origin to T. So we need to do O to P plus two-fifths of P to R. So we're basically, we're at the origin, we're going to go to P, then we're going to go two-fifths of the way along PR, because we know where P is, we know where R is, it's in the ratio two to three. So we're going the first two parts out of five parts altogether. So it'll be two-fifths of the way along PR. So O to T is O P plus two-fifths of PR. So calculate PR first of all, and we end up with 10, negative 5, 20. So O to T will be OP plus two-fifths of PR. So it'll be negative 2, 4, negative 1, plus 4, negative 2, 8, which comes out again as 2, 2, 7. Just different methods for calculating the same thing. And remember to write it as a coordinate, not as a vector, because we're looking for the coordinate of T. We're not looking for vector t, we're looking for the coordinate of t. And a third way, using the section formula. So guys, if you're really, really keen on having a formula and just substituting numbers into a formula, here's the formula. So if the point P divides line AB in the ratio M to N, then point P is N multiplied by vector a plus m multiplied by vector b all over n plus m where a b and p are the position vectors of a b and p respectively it's not necessary necessary to know this the two approaches above would be totally valid but if you want to just substitute into the formula that's fine so here we here same question again so we've got p and r the point T divides P on the ratio 2 to 3. Find the coordinates of T. So we're going to substitute in. So it'll be NP plus MQ all over N plus M. So N would be 3. M would be 2. So it'll be 3P plus 2Q over 3 plus 2. 
So 3p plus 2q all over 5. So I'll just take the 5 out. So it'll be a fifth of 3p plus 2q. Multiply through, add them together, do a fifth of 10, 10, 35. And once again, we end up with a point 227. Okay, guys, so three different methods there. I'll let you guys decide which one's uh, the best for you. And once you've done that, have a go at exercise 5C.